All right, Shalom. First off, and give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Rikaku Das. Want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Um, and it's a sincere Shalom to the Akim out here that's doing again, pushing his work in truth and in sincerity. <clears throat> We're going on this video that we can't want you to be saved <coughs> more than you want it for yourself. Okay, and um, you know, we we have hopes that you know those who you know hear this word stick around. Okay, um, that your you know foundation is the scriptures, and that you're you know fully rooted in this this truth, man. Okay, and there's um, you know, brothers that been in this thing for you know a minute. Okay, we have to set the example, you know, so that other brothers, you know, can imitate that. Okay? Um, you know, in a, a sense of being our brother's keeper. Okay? But, you know, in certain certain situations, we might hold on to, um, you know, a brother that, you know, uh, might be new into this thing, might hold your hand for a little bit, you know? But after a certain point in time, you know, um you got you gotta you gotta grow up man okay and my by you know holding hand you know i mean like you know we give you some leeway okay um we don't um you know for somebody that's um a newcomer okay you gotta be fully persuaded in your mind that this is what you really want to do okay so you know we might gradually um you know, as time goes on, you know, introduce some things so that you can grow in this truth. Okay? But some some brothers that's been in this thing for a minute that, that want to cross over, that want to do, you know, what we do, okay, as far as being teachers, okay, you got to want to, to, to do that, okay? You, your actions is going to show, okay? Um, being in order, Okay, because in the campus is definitely in order. Okay, so if we if we see somebody um, slacking off in certain areas, okay, and then we we get on you, we we you know try to correct the behavior, okay, and you don't want to accept it, okay, that's not on us, okay. We we told you what you need to work on to get better, okay? And it's all for the betterment for yourself, okay? Because we can't tolerate no BS in, in the camps, man, okay? We're not allowing none of that bullshit, okay, inside of the camp, man, okay? Little leaven, leaven if the whole lump, okay? So I'm going to get this scripture, man, because, you know, in my camp partic in particular, We've had guys come in, okay, some of them wasn't, you know, you know, ready to, to cross over, okay, our, our old camp leader, for whatever reason, you know, he wanted to just, you know, have, um, you know, the numbers or whatever, I don't know, you know, but, you know, some brothers got to be able to, you know, stick around and show the diligence and everything and show that they really are serious about this thing, man. Okay, and understand the order. Okay, understand what you're getting yourself into. Okay, so a lot of those guys that you know came in and they didn't stick around. Okay, they fell off. Okay, and they're no longer anywhere to be found. Okay, don't they in the world? No, no. Some of them, I've I've had conversations with some, you know, and one guy say, "I'm going into the military." You know, uh, 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 wanting to be a part of this society. They just gave up the hope. Okay. And the scripture says in Hebrews 6 and 4, for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift, right? Knowing that you're in Israel, right? knowing these scriptures, right? And, and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost and have tasted the good words of God, Yahweh Shem Yosah, and the powers of the world to come if they so fall away 
to renew them again onto repentance. Okay? So in this thing, you got to understand that if, when you first come in, okay, most of the times when we, when we wake up to this truth, we are at a low point in our life. Okay? And, um, you know, the Lord, you know, reaches out and, um, you know, he, he lifts us up. Through the spirit, you know, through through this word, you know, it might it might be different for some other for some other people, okay, but then you come into the truth and you end up catching more help, okay, and end up being a little bit more difficult, okay. The reason why I'm saying this is once you first found this truth out, okay, you first found about it, it a, a state of repentance, okay. Let's get that word repent, okay. Because if you came into this truth and you was just, you know, it was all, you know, uh, good for you, right? What did what did you repent for? What did you have to repent if you just, oh yeah, I found out I'm an Israelite, you know? Well, what do what what did you need to repent from? If you just found out you wasn't at a low point in your life, right? Everything was going good for you. Now you just found out that you were an Israelite, okay, and, and uh. You know, you, you don't see nothing wrong in what you done did. You got some guys out here that, that have that mindset. Finding out that you're an Israelite, realizing, you know, that the Lord punished us individually and as a nation is important. Okay? And one of the things, you know, that happens when you come in is that you are at a low point. Okay? And and it's it's like you gotta do that, you gotta you gotta make that change, okay, in order for the Lord to, to, to revive you, okay? To to lift your spirits up. Okay, the word repentance is the act of acknowledging and regretting past or present doing wrongdoings. Okay? Yeah, we can re regret, you know, what we done did in the past and that's important. In this life and in the past life. But it's also the things that we're doing today that we got to repent for. Okay? So, it says, and then taking steps to change for the better. Right? So, you might not have been somebody that, um, you know, have had a beard. Okay? You might have had dreads. Okay? You got to feel sorry for all those things. Okay? Grow your beard. Okay? Take out those dreads. Okay? And start living a holy life, man. Okay? Some guys, they, they don't feel as though that they're wrong, okay, in anything that they do. Okay? And that's not the right mindset that somebody must have in this truth. Okay? In this truth, if you want to take the steps to be better, okay, that that's how you come into this thing. It's like a rite of passage. Okay? You realize that you're going through stuff. The Lord got you through some hardships right now, okay, some turmoil, and we need to call on the name of Yahweh by some y'all side to, to deliver us, okay? And that's one of the reasons, that's one of the times when you make that first prayer, you know, which is like a vow unto the Lord. You're calling on his name, and you want, you want, you, you, you're making a vow and saying that you're going to dedicate the rest of your life to him, okay? And that means taking the proper steps, okay? to getting back into the Lord's good grace, okay? And that's why we say that we are of the hopeful elect because we don't know, okay, until Yahweh Shah come and deliver us, okay? But you got some people who come into this thing, right? And, you know, they, they be built up with pride. And it's like, yo, like, did you really full repent? You know? Did you, did you... You can't, you can't accept the correction, the rebukes, okay, the reproval, okay. You can't, you can't accept these things, okay, for the betterment of yourself, okay. You can't accept these things because somewhere along the line, you you didn't fully repent for for your wrongdoings, okay, and trying to make the proper steps to to change that for the better. OK. And and that's that's a lot. It takes a lot of character to repent, to be a man of the Lord. It takes a lot of character. OK. To try to to try to do the right thing, man, to take those steps, man. 
okay? Uh, and seeking forgiveness from, from the Lord, man. It says, uh, so some people, they come into this thing, right? And then they fall away, okay? And it says uh, to renew them onto repentance, okay? So how can we how can we get you to repent for something right if you already know better you already know the doctrine you already know what's going on okay but you don't want you just totally give up you know like it don't work like that now if somebody changes up the doctrine you know then we have to you know we have to get on that okay and that, and that person if they changing up the doctrine Okay, but you got a lot of people who fall out and they change up the doctrine. Okay, we don't necessarily say these things about for them. Okay, because a lot of the times those people that fall away, right? They 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 they're, they're novices. Okay, and they they feel wet with pride. Okay, um, you you go off on doctrine, right? We correct you, and you don't want to accept the correction. Okay. Or we correct you and you 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 walk away saying fuck this thing. We can't want you to be saved more than you. Okay? And if you don't want to be if you want to be saved, your access is going to show that. Okay? And you're gonna be in a state of repentance, especially if you are getting corrected. Okay, you're gonna make those proper steps. Okay, it says, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of God, which is Yahweh Shah, afresh. And put him to an open shame. Okay. It says. For the earth. Which drinks and the rain. That comes oft upon it. And brings forth herbs. Meat for them. Who it says by whom it is dressed. Receive blessing from God. So. When you know we plant in the seed. Okay. And you know the Lord is the one who gives the increase. Okay. But when when we, you know, speak this word onto you, okay, and you receive it and you grow into this thing, okay, that's a blessing from the Lord, okay? You'll receive a blessing, the ultimate blessing of, of being saved, being delivered, okay? That's what we, 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 we don't, you know, water brothers or, you know, trying to... Um, you know, get them to understand what's inside of these scriptures, you know, <coughs> yes, for our own good, for our, you know, for the betterment of our, our people, you know, but when we, when we tell, you know, Jake, you know, um, about the, the, the mysteries, the secrets, see, everybody can't get that, but when you, when you got a brother that wants to get it, they showing, you know, sincerity to a certain point, because a lot of people are dull with hearing and we understand uh that um sometimes Jake have a short short attention span okay uh sometimes uh you know uh Jake be seeking out many in inventions and stuff like that you know you know we understand we dealing with a, a rebellious people okay but that don't mean that you go go off man okay we not we not trying to control your life when we say these things, okay? If you don't want y'all by some y'all side to to take control of your life willingly, right? And you don't want to willingly do this thing, the Lord the Lord ain't gonna deal with you. You gonna fall away, okay? It says, but that which bears thorns and briars is rejected, right? So if we if we plant a a, a seed. Right. And it's supposed to be something that that that, you know, grows. Right. But we can't get to it. Right. Because it's thorns and, and thistles. We ain't going to take the time out to try to, you know, uh, you know, get to it because you, you ain't letting the, you ain't letting the Holy Spirit in. OK, it says and is nigh on to cursing. OK, so that's you, you worthless as the, as the scriptures say. In the Amplified Version, it's worthless and you close to being cursed, man. Okay? It says whose end is to be burnt. Okay? 
A lot of these people who fell out, their end is to be burnt up, man. Okay? It says, but beloved, we are persuaded better things of you and things that accompany salvation. Though thus we speak, we thus speak. Okay? So we want better for, for brothers. Okay? We want to speak about the things that accompany salvation. Okay? So that means we're going to push brothers to 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 do the same things that we're doing, right? It says, for for Yahweh outside is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which you have so sued toward his name, and that you have ministered to the saints and do minister, right? And let's get this min minister, right? The scriptures say, make full proof of your ministry, okay? It says, and do minister. It says to be a servant, attendant, domestic, to serve, to wait upon, okay, to minister to one, to render ministering service, I mean, offices to, okay, to wait up at a table or offer food and drink to guests, okay. One of the things that's important is throwing up videos, okay, doing videos, coming out, when to, when to be a part of the, 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 the camp, okay. So in that you studied. Okay? Yeah, you can ask questions. But after a point in time, we expect you to get it. Okay? And it's like sometimes some Jake don't get it. Okay? And it shouldn't take you years to get it. Okay? It should not take you years to get this thing. Okay? Some Jake be having a foot into this truth and a foot into the world. That's lukewarm spirit. The Lord ain't dealing with that shit. Okay? When I, when, when I heard about this truth, right? Ain't nobody telling me I need to do, to do videos. Ain't nobody telling me I needed to go out to the camp. Okay? That was something I wanted to do. Okay? And I'm, I, I, I made my own channel. Okay? And I started doing videos. Okay? I wanted to I wanted to teach. I wanted to speak this truth. Okay? I wanted to do this work. And I didn't even know as much as the mysteries as, as I know now. I didn't know. I just said I'm gonna I'm gonna be a dedicated servant or to you. How about me outside? And that's you know, I'm trying to make good on my word, you know, Lord willing he keeps that spirit on me. Okay? But ain't nobody have to tell me that I need to do what was required. Okay? Because I wanted it myself, man. Okay? And some Jake don't want it for their self, man. And we shouldn't have to be telling you that you need to want it for yourself. Okay? That you need to better yourself, man. It don't work like that. Okay? And if you don't get it, then we're not going to have you around. Okay? Because we don't want that. The scriptures say what they say, right? And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. So we want brothers to be diligent, to continue in this thing, okay, until the very end, okay? No matter what may be thrown your way, okay? We're not saying you need to be doing, you know, um, you know, 24-7, okay? But put, put your time into it, man, okay? Make, make what, you going off on the first commandment. Love the Lord with all thy heart, keeping the Lord first, okay? And if your works ain't showing, your faith ain't showing, okay? Then guess what? You're going to be on the, on the, you're going to be offended, when when we say certain things and you gonna fall away because you don't want it you don't really want this thing you don't really want what we are part of okay and that's to your detriment not us okay because we telling y'all what's what's the deal okay it says that you be not slothful but followers of them who through faith and patience right long suffering and heard the promises we have to be um, long-suffering with some Jake, you know? We have to be patient with some Jake, 
you know, waiting for them to get it. Because sometimes Jake, man, they they be having, you know, sometimes Jake got to see the Lord's power, you know. They got to see uh, miracles and, you know, or, or, you know, the Lord to start, you know, bringing forth this judgment in order for them to want to get it, you know. And this goes for family members, friends, brothers, you know. Some Jake gonna want to want they gotta wait until the Lord starts showing that that power, okay. But hey, what it say? Um, uh, that you not be slothful, okay, but followers of them, right? And who is them? That's that's us. That's the brothers, okay. Starting with the apostles on down to the camp leaders, you know, the brothers that's been pushing this work, okay, right? Who have the faith and faith. Okay, and trying to inherit the kingdom. Okay, so with that, you know, Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to say shalom to him next time.